And there we go. Start recording, I guess. I don't know if this intro FMV like matters at all, but might as well. Why is this got some like 80s anime vibe going on, man? With the <laughs> like with the the questionable rap music, just making me think of like some cowboy bebop or uh, the fucking space cowboy or some shit. <laughs> I don't fucking know. We can skip this, right? This doesn't matter. I don't think this would. Did that lady just point a gun at her head? Why is she trying to off herself, bro? <laughs> the fuck were some of those characters? The fucking dude. Like, the girls in bikinis and shit, that's normal. But what was that dude just wearing, like, the flame jacket, just pointing up in the air and shit? That was, <laughs> that was so out of nowhere. Kind of dig the Japanese rap singing mix. I don't have, like, a problem with it. It's just, like, very, uh, very 80s S to me. Like, 80s anime S to me. What the fuck is the journey or the answer? What are we even picking here? It's not telling me anything. It's just, like, <laughs> what the fuck? It's literally just, like, this is the first fucking screen of the game, man. What are we doing? Are we a hoe or are we an HN? Is it in the manual? Should I have read the manual for this game before we started up? Prologue, Awakening, Persona, Main Character, Optijack, where are you my guy? You're the Persona thing here. Here we go, two episodes. In Persona 3, you can play either the journey or the answer. After selecting an episode, you'll be taken to the start menu screen. The journey, step into the shoes of a newcomer. The answer, this new chapter exclusive to the FES edition. Okay, 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 okay. So the journey is the original game. The answer is the like expanded thing, you know, with the extra content. Would have been really nice if they just put anything, <laughs> anything. Like whenever you highlight it here, just like a little thing over here that says, you know, this is where you should start or something. That would have been nice, but I guess that's what the manual's for, you know, in the case that you... Fig. He's just gonna leave you hanging for sure. For sure, man. Auto advance, cursor memory, tactics memory. Um, in the last battle? No. You can turn off voices? Bruh. Maybe Shout need an Oreo again? Bro, bring me an Oreo. I need Oreos. Love me some. Dipped in milk. Bruh, people. Lele attack. Right? I'm just gonna like shout her business out there for the whole world here. Has never once dipped her fucking Oreos in milk before. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Lele, you're great. You're great. Alright, one of my dearest friends. But dip your Oreos in some fucking milk. Just once. See if you like. If you don't like it. I'll think it's weird, but it's okay. But to never have even tried it, I know you got some milk at the house. I know you got some Oreos. <laughs> Just dip your fucking Oreos in some milk, dude. You'll like it. You'll like it. I don't even know if she has sound on and can hear right now or anything. Like, <laughs> yes, you do. You gotta get it super soggy. Nah, I was actually asking my brother something, but he seems to have disappeared. May begin the story Persona 3 from here with the new features. If you're playing Persona 3 for the first time, I recommend that you start with this mode. Those who have already played the game can enjoy the new features that have been added. You want to know what was added? Um, sure. <laughs> Several popular personas have been added as well as a special social link. Interaction with other persona users as well as the social links have been enriched. Combat has also been enhanced with an optional hard difficulty mode for an extra challenge, as well as new weapon fusion enabling you to create new weapons by fusing personas. There are also many new requests that can be undertaken at the Velvet Room. Beyond these, there are other enhancements for experienced users to enjoy. Continue the game? Sure. Why not? I guess it's nice they kind of tell you what's different, but like you got to get into it first. Bro, I was super confused. I didn't know if we wanted the journey or the answer and you just left us like, bruh, was Igor? I don't know the first Persona game. I only played a few hours of it and I do not remember. 
if that's what you're talking about. The journey, it didn't show you. Or are you answering the question? I ended up picking the journey. I read the fucking manual. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you have saved data from Persona 3, some things that save can be transferred over. We don't. The things that transfer are registered personas, known fusions, academic charms, and courage. I, blah, 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 blah. I don't have any saved data, so it's fine. Actually, don't own the base game for PS2, so. Um, I guess we'll just do normal. Intended for experienced gamers. You'll be able to enjoy the normal challenge of battle, which requires a certain degree of strategy. Once you have begun, the setting cannot be changed without restarting. Continue. Yeah, we're good. I don't get that. Like, why they would cut shit from the remake, you know? Maybe they're going to release Persona 3 Remake FES. Like, <laughs> at some point. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You, who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter. With your heart as your guide, ding key. <laughs> Secretly, we're playing Kingdom Hearts 3. I recommend people don't play the Steam version or play the Steam version and then just play the epilogue on PS2. Could you not do that? I assume some stuff from the main game will carry over to the epilogue, though, if you're using, like, the same save or whatever. Oh, they ported the handheld version over to Steam? Weird. Wait, the new remake or the original remake? No, that's Persona 3 Portable, isn't it? The one that's ported from a handheld? Or are you talking about the epilogue specifically? You gotta get more specific, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on. You know something I'm legitimately mad about, though? Oh shit, dude. Shit just getting real. Um, anyway, sorry. So, like, <laughs> the fucking <clears throat> South Park games exist. The new ones, where it looks like you're playing a fucking episode of South Park, right? But somehow, we still don't have games that just look like you're playing a fucking anime. Like, how has that not been a thing yet, dude? I want Persona, but I want the entire game to look like this. Glad I have all the mature warnings fucking enabled, dude. That's fucking. Oh, I mean, I'm glad she didn't do it, but Jesus Christ, bro. The game just started. Give me a fucking second here. Shit, bro. <laughs> Japan doesn't have train delays, dude. Twenty seconds is a delay to them. Does the remake have the Japanese voice cast, preferably with subtitles? Because I'm kind of irritated that everything's in English right now. I'm not gonna lie. where he like drops some acid and it gets fucked up. I don't Oh, you mean in the the remake. I say I didn't see it in the options for this game for the PS2 version. Oh, for real? They, like, redid all the voice lines? Didn't expect that. Were they bad in the original or something? You're so late. far... I've been waiting a long time for you. They, they seem fine, but we haven't heard much either, so... Now, if you want to proceed, please sign your name there. It's a contract. Don't worry. 
All it says is that you'll accept full responsibility for your actions. You know, the usual stuff. Are we dead? <laughs> uh, oh shit. <laughs> How the fuck do you delete? Bro, wait. Wait, circle's not working. It says circle delete. It's not working though. Oh, okay. You gotta fucking like L1 it back. Okay. I'm <laughs> like, bro. Yeah, it's L1. I got it. Hey. Oh, it's. Okay, no, it's just last name. No, it is first and last name. Fuck. Okay. Um. Ooh, fuck. Um. What's our fucking. What's our last name? Well, yeah, no, that's fine. I thought. <laughs> when I saw that, I thought we were just doing last name. Um. Uh, pair. <laughs> Sure. That's our fucking last name. Why not? <laughs> what the fuck? What's our first name, my guy? Uh. Come on, man. I need that first name. Something pair. Yummy. <laughs> fucking, what the fuck? I don't even know. Like, what's what's a name? Mr. Smith. <laughs> John Smith. Bro, I never, like, pick real names. I don't even know. I was trying to think of, like, one of my names of, like, an MMO character or something, but I can't even do that off the top of my head. Uh, Joseph. Joseph Pear. There we go. That's us. This <laughs> is too late, man. You were too slow. Joseph Pear. <laughs> Maybe we can be Esteban and <laughs> whenever we actually play no the game for real. No one can escape time. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears and cover your eyes. It's creepy. And so it begins. We in a... Why do I feel like I played a game where you're, like, in a hotel with a group of people, like, trapped in a hotel with a group of people? <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I'd probably just do that. Magado <laughs> Yuki? Okay. We have control? Not yet. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. Wait, this is a fucking school? This place is creepy as hell for a school, man. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. You thirsting, my guy? This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hey! Why do you have a gun? <laughs> is, she, is she a dummy mommy? Why do you have a gun? Huh? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. I think that's illegal in Japan. Well, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me.
Is this college or high school? Pretty fancy for a high school. And the fact that you're calling someone a dommy mommy. <laughs> I'm guessing college. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. Oh yeah, make sure you don't lose your key or you'll never hear the end of it. So, any questions? Uh, what's that contract for? Huh? What contract? Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> I say an ope to this, but ope to you, my god damn. <laughs> we need some fucking sirens around here somewhere, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my god. <laughs> I think you need to chill a little bit. Fuck. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? What do you mean? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're alright. Well, I better get going. Yeah, I just took a tab of acid before I got here and this creepy kid had me sign some fucking contracts and shit. Everything went black for a bit. Um, some weird shit. I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Good night to you too. There's romance in the game, okay? All right, my guy. I'm just saying you might want to chill. Weird relationships can happen in Persona. What do you mean? What do you mean by weird? I'm concerned now. It's we? Ukari. <laughs> Are you awake? Like normal Japanese anime weird? Is that what we're talking about? I can open the door. I don't have a problem with Ukari. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? E, I guess. Mitsuru Senpai <laughs> asked me to take you to school. Christ. Are we positive Persona's not on the ban list for, for fucking Twitch? It's getting oh, late, God. so are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, why not? I'm ready. Okay, then let's go. I did kind of want to explore my room a little bit, you know, just get acquainted with things, but it's fine, I guess. So, that's it. See, there it is. Wait a second, so we have like some private dorms and then a fucking train to this fancy ass school? Are we rich as shit? This has got to be private. We're here, welcome to GeckoCon High School. Hope you like it. Two lockers? You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Um, which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later. Wait, which part? The kid that made me sign the contract or the fact that you carry a fucking gun? <laughs> How many people standing in front of the bulletin board? I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but shouldn't we, like, get out of our shoes first? Also, is time, like, actually moving? Are we gonna get in trouble if we don't get to class in a certain, like, time? Students are talking. Hey Kaz, why are you wearing your PE uniform? School just started. Really ought to find somewhere to change into some normal clothes. Eh, I guess. Okay, okay, fine. Quit glaring at me like that. Hey, where's the bulletin board with the homeroom posted? Right there, you're in class F. Different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you. Uh, I worry about you sometime. I'm only advances per event. Good to know. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to go into a room. Maybe we should go back. <laughs> I'm sure, like... 
I'm pretty sure with what little I know about Persona, like, there's some out-of-the-way shit, right? Like, if you just explore everything between events, you can just randomly find, like, people to get side quests or unlock new story things or whatever. You're alone? Hello. Huh? The faculty office? Uh, I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you should probably ask someone else. Thanks, dude. You're helpful. Need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate anyway. Bruh. <laughs> like, taking your studies seriously all and all is fine, but damn. I don't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? Uh, whatever. Rosters are posted. Can't find my name. Look for it again. There's a small note with your name on it. Joseph Pear, class F. Cool. And this must be... Oh, you're a vendor? We got 3,000 yen. Ooh, we can buy food. I like food. Give me a apple strudel for breakfast. Why not? Yeah, sure. Only like, what, 70 cents these days? Something is written beneath the displays. Two in harmony surpass one in perfection. Class F. Huh? Which way did they say the fucking... Do we have, like, a map or anything? Well, we can't even, like, open up the menu or anything right now, so... Go to the office. I'm guessing it's this way, then. <laughs> uh, looks like, yeah, those are bathrooms. Do we get in trouble if we go in the women's room? The women's room? Oh, won't let us. Okay. There. Bro, why are you wearing, like, traditional headgear? Oh, you're a faculty member. Listen, if you're a real man, you should have the soul of a samurai. This school, we teach students to become samurais so they can succeed in society and... Whoa, but this is great. I wish to also become a samurai. Because that's it. That's it. That's the spirit. Might not be from here, but we're on the same page. Two of them seem very excited. Uh, library? That's strange. I saw the map, but where am I? Good question. Where are you? The exit's locked. Not a very good emergency exit if it's locked, dude. Can we go in the nurse's office? No. Go to the office. Bruh, am I blind? Oh, there's more doors. Okay, back with the office. Enter. Oh, are you the new student? E. 11th grade, correct? E. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> The real Dommy Mommy? Let's go, dude. I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. I mean, it definitely seems college-esque, you know? But I, I believe my brother. I think it's set in a high school, man. Uh, nice to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. Hey, but awesome. first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. I have a sneaking suspicion we're not going to have any real gameplay by the time, like, we got to get off tonight, dude. <laughs> As you begin the new school year... I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... Psst. Hey. Hi. You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? Yeah. I saw you two walking together. Yeah, she's my boo. What about it? Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? 
Uh, I mean, I guess I'll be honest. I don't know. I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. You have set times for getting off. That's too much time management for me. Man, if I don't make specific times for me to get off, then like, you know, I'll just be fucked, man. So how well do you know her? I hear talking. Got to manage my time somehow, you know? Get them like 16 getting off times through the day. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Nope. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. Hear lots of people talking. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, wait, that was the entire first day of school? Bruh. Easy school day. What's up, dude? What's up? How's it going? Uh, who are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? I don't trust him. Hey, it's Yucatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? Forward. What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, it looks like we're in the same homeroom. Wait, I thought this was after school. Yeah, whatever. It must be fate. I'll hit on her. Fate? Yeah, right. <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? Nobody cares about you, Junpei. <laughs> By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? That make me a reverse trap? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Why hey. would they put me in the women's dorm though? That is weird. You didn't if say you play like as out. a you know as, what? If you, you play a chick, because you said you could play as a girl in like the remake or whatever, or the portable version. Right, my guy? Did they put you in the men's dorm or like, uh, yeah, because like they would have to redo all this dialogue, right? Nah, I'm really? Weird. We're all held back like four years or something, dude. Looks like he's about to work a 16 hour day as an exterminator. For real though. He's even got the stubble and shit, dude. Obviously he's just Yakuza. That's all it is. Uh, you know what? Question mark. Wait, if I say, uh-uh, that means no, right? <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. good. I, I was Seriously, saying Seriously, don't say anything about last night, all right? Bro, this is making you sound way more sus. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What? L last night? <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't get the wrong idea. You're doing this to yourself, my dude. Listen. I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Bro, I'm standing right here, Jeez. though. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. All the stress of 210-day school years? Uh, Wait. Who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. How many school days do we have in fucking America, the U.S.? Is it like 150 or something? It's got to be close to 200, right? You go to school. I mean, you have a couple vacations, but you go to school nine out of 12 months. 180. So it's only one month more. I mean, like, that's still a lot, you know? 30 fucking days is a lot, but still. It's not that big of a difference. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. 
Thanks. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year. I can feel it. I'm enjoying the music, but I, for some reason, can just think of it being on like a very long loop and just how torturous it would become after a while. What, went home with Junpai? I'm getting around, getting around already. Got your jocks, you got the girls thirsting over some dude back there. Pretty standard high school shit. Gentle spring sunlight is warm. There's a sign-in sheet on the counter. Help! <laughs> you can save your game at the sign-in sheet. Welcome back. What will you do? Save. Might as well. Wonder if that counts Japan's weekend days. They're given weekends off now, but it's an unwritten rule that they still gotta come in on Saturday. Gross. <laughs> I know. I did know like they had more school days standardly than we do here in America, but I didn't know how many or anything. Doesn't seem to be you. Lame. Men's room. Yeah, go in, dude. Maybe I gotta take a piss. Oh. Winter school days technically, so you just have a couple of those off. That's the contract time for teachers typically. Only a couple days teachers are there that students aren't there. E. I mean, yeah, you would know. He's a fucking gander at a school. Like, your condition has become great. Wait, we actually have, like, condition that we have to pay attention to? Back here? Oh no, okay. What's this? Out oh, the back door. Can't go in the back door. How many floor oh vending machines? Can I buy anything? Yeah, give me a uh a mad bull. <laughs> Is that like Red Bull just Non-copyright infringing <laughs> fucking Red Bull. Same things, same things, okay. Seems to be empty, sure, go check it out, why not? Go to battle too often, it'll wear you out. So you gotta plan your days accordingly, okay. So it's like some anti-grind shit. You have like a set number of days that you have to do everything in, or can you like rest to go back out for another day, grind, and just repeat? Or do you have to complete everything in like one year or whatever? Oh, fuck me. Just go to our room. Is our room on this floor? I, mean, I didn't plan on going back to my room yet, but I don't know. Like, Akihiko, there's someone inside. Knock. Male voice. Ooh, shit, dude. Mm, they got some boys over. That's on the third floor. Brother, how many floors is this place? Uh, I'm guessing it's the same vending machine. Yeah, okay. She's gonna be in a room. I can't like snoop while she's not in there. Weird that there's no more rooms on this side. Does she just have like a big ass room, like a special one or something? Get to the boss, you have one month. You can choose how quickly you get to that boss, though. You think the exhaustion thing is to persuade you to spend some of your time with friends to level up your social links. 
What are, like, what are social links? I remember seeing that as, like, a thing, but... What's the point of it? What's it, what's it do for you? Is it just, like, story stuff, or does it actually make you stronger? Like, increase your personas or something? Do not open it. If open, close it. I'm guessing that's just the, like, roof access. Okay, well, I guess we just gotta go back to our room. Doesn't seem to be anything else we can do. We can't even go into the menu yet, though. go back to my room. If you're tired, you should get some rest. I agree, my guy. I would love to go get some rest. It is fucking nap time. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Didn't you see the newspaper? There's a lot going on. I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... What is apathy syndrome? Right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? The chairman will be here for the next few days, but after that, I can... Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. Are they other Persona wielders? This isn't a game, Akihiko. They seem like other Personas. Each link is linked to a major arcana, as is all Personas. If you level up that social link, it gives a boost when you fuse a Persona. That's part of the arcana and also unlocks new ones if you recall. <laughs> Fuck me, okay. Yo, we hear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? No, not that one. I mean the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, how about that? <laughs> No comment. <laughs> Just saying, I too remember puberty. <laughs> That's all I'm fucking saying, dude. <laughs> uh, not sure if this game has been Persona 4 or 5. It also boosts your party members when you have a higher social link with them. That would make sense to me, but I have no idea. In your textbooks, and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzoi Kasai. Uh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubo Kubota. Game famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kabuto's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Um, uh, who does she like? Kabuta. Did I have, like, fucked him over, dude? Got some brownie points with Miss Toriyumi? Well, you know how I like to pay attention. And you saved my bacon, Joseph. This gave him the answer. He must pay attention in class. <laughs> it was slightly more popular. That made us more fucking popular? Your charm is increased. I'm guessing that just means we'll have, like, better social interactions with people. Or easier social interactions with people. Having more charm. Class have ended for the day. You decide to go back to the dorms. Dorms use books. What that say? Wild duck. Kitty! I want to pet the kitty. Grandma is lively in the evening. That makes sense. All the kids getting off school and shit. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. 
Ikutski. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? Ikutski? Ikutsuki. Ikutski. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. Gotta practice, man. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. It's fine. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Um... The other night I saw... See, I'm worried if that's gonna be like the other night I saw talking about her or talking about the weird kid. Uh, why are you here? Get three kitties you can pet here, but they're not virtual. <laughs> It always makes me want to check out the Danganronpa games. Uh, wait, games? Anime? It sounds familiar, but I can't remember what that is. Why are to you here? You, of course. Well, thanks, well, man. Well, to be honest, I do have other business here. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? Uh, who else lives here? There were only four students in this dorm. We were to have a whole dorm for four students? You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akihiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Any other questions? Uh, I'm good. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to ask about you the other night. Tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. But again, I'm worried it's gonna like bring up her gun, and that's As not what say, I want to bring up. The like, early bird catches the bookworm. I just want to forgive the pun. Ask about the weird child that <laughs> had me sign a contract. <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. I already forget her name, but is that like Makari? What's it? I already forget her fucking name, dude. Is that like her dad or something like that? Not the not the girl we were just with, but the the other one. The one he asked about. Working hard. Uh, this is some sketch shit, dude. So how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <laughs> They're definitely Persona Weirders. <laughs> Totally. That's rude. Yeah. Hmm. It seems normal. It's fine. <laughs> the fuck hmm he's still sleeping the dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight you could say it's the hidden hour maybe that's why they call it the dark hour my guy during this time an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. Wait, for, <laughs> wait, whoa, 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 hold up. So like, <laughs> so literally every night at midnight, we all just turn into fucking coffins? Bro, that explains so much. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. <laughs> 
I wondered why that happened every night, you know, man? I always thought that was weird as shit. But... The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Wait, do we know the coffin secret or like or have we just gone to bed before midnight every time our entire life? Wait, does that mean we get an extra hour of sleep compared to everybody Welcome else? Because that's to pretty the dope. Velvet room, my dear young man. What the fuck? It's creepy. My name is Igor. <laughs> I am delighted to make your acquaintance. The fucking is man with a long nose. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It's been years since we've had a guest. document you signed at the dorm. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Brad, sell my soul for an extra hour of sleep every night. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. Are we on a giant fucking elevator? You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. How long I is this elevator? Ask one the infinite? Thing in I mean, none of this is real, right? That you Between reality and shit? And assume responsibility for the choices you make. Is this a dream? No, I understand. Hold on to this. Got the velvet key? Till we meet oh, cool. again. I'm assuming that lets us go, like, to and from the Velvet Room at will. <laughs> Sounds like a great BDSM room. Not gonna lie, man. Feels like you've had a strange dream. However, it's time to go to school. Bruh, I just want to check out my dorm. It looks like I got a fridge. Are there snacks in my fridge? I haven't eaten since I fucking got here. I'm probably about to die. Likely, I'm just hallucinating all this shit every night. What's up? Man, today is the perfect day. The sky is blue, we're young, what more could we ask for? I think you need rest. Dude, I'm not sick. Forget the old June pie. Ju June pay. June pie. I'm just thinking of pie, dude. This is the real me. You should cheer up, too. After all, you've got me for a friend. Same. Fuck, my nose is getting stuffed again, dude. Okay. How does he go to school for like eight plus hours a day and work them 16 hour shifts, man? That must be rough. Does he get that extra hour every night too? Is that what it is? He just works during that extra hour? Um, I'm Mr. Okoda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. Teaching about good old Japan all year. Cocaine. <laughs> nice. Some people say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. The students, the other teachers? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Stay awake. Er, uh, yeah. Stay awake. Hey, are you all listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Issei Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. Very interesting story. The youngsters might call it the bomb. Uh, I can tell you are zoning out. Stay up and listen to the lecture. Your academics has increased. Good for us, dude. 
What happens if we would have went to sleep? Would our laziness have increased? <laughs> Decide to go home with June Pie. June Pie. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I really can't stop thinking about pie. <laughs> Oh, what can I say? I like a good pie. Station is bussin' <laughs> with students on their way home. Would have got punished in the velvet room? What if I'm into that sort of thing, though, you know? Lock me up, daddy. We might be going to the velvet room either way, dude. How is he? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I ain't fucking Igor's nose. I ain't fucking nobody's nose. That's weird as shit. Memory loss, <laughs> disorientation. Oh, fuck. But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Ow. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Fuck, I'm just trying to st Ah! Stay! There we go. Yeah, I guess. But still. Oh. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. <laughs> That's what she said. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Wait, does... Uh, what's his fucking name? Utsuki? Does he not fight? He just, like, supervisor? Leaves all the shit to the children? <laughs> Kinda fucked. Akihiko! Senpai! I'm alright. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Uh, oh. What the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I Later. had What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! I'm going! Do we get to do the fight? Or we just gotta watch the fight. Oh. Hear commotion down the hall. You decide to go take a look. <laughs> Bruh. Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in. But I'm naked. I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hurry downstairs. We'll lead through the back door. Wait. Take this. Just in case. Giving us a gun. Oh, short sword. <laughs> Fuck okay, yeah, dude. Let's, let's go. go. <laughs> I love how our dude doesn't ask any questions at all, man. Like, 
this girl that carries a gun just handed us a short sword while something's shaking the entire dorm, and we're just like, it's chill, whatever. We should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. Ooh, so wait, is that one like what? coming in the back door? Yup. <laughs> uh, let's pull back. Fine. I want to fight the big one, dude. What are we gonna do? They're downstairs. Do you have any choice but to go further up? We could fight. I want to fuck some bitches up, bro. Oh, <laughs> what are we gonna do? Can I go back downstairs? Can't go down there. I'm sure they have it under control. But do they though? You just chill and be dumbfounded after finding out about coffin people. <laughs> oh, wait, can we like end you or anything yet? No, okay. Um, what do we do? Just go back to our room? Maybe, maybe go upstairs. Probably, yeah, there we go. I'm guessing we're just gonna go all the way to the top. They here will go what? Stand and fight! Let's go! Keep moving! Hurry! I wanna fuck some bitches up, dude! Sounds like some sort of slime creature or something. <laughs> Fucking sounds slimy. Oh yeah, if we go out through here. Why is it so slimy sounding though? Chocobo, what's up, dude? Bruh. <laughs> That's pretty sick. That's creepy as hell, too. I'm not gonna lie. That's cool. look at this from the perspective of you know the main character here like not only is he seeing some Go fucked on. up shadow monster but he also just watched a girl try to off herself <laughs> in a pool of blood wait <laughs> this is a very fucked up situation for this kid this is some real trauma shit here a lot of trust in that little kid, man. Unless this is something we've, like, done before. Thou art I, and I am thou. From the sea of thy soul I come up. I am Orpheus, master of strings. As Orpheus, we suspected, 
This is wealthy, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never hear as many squelchy sounds as you do in a, uh, well, anything from Japan, really. <laughs> walk, walk out of this Digimon? Hell yeah, dude. Is there a anime for Persona? It seems like they want to be an anime. That's the only reason I'm wondering, like... Probably think you can just shoot me, I'm done with this, then another part of him wants to live. But like... Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what on earth is that? <gasps> Four and five have actual series? No shit, okay. Is it like just the, the story of the game though? Or are they like original... Original like works, original stories? Sudden swell of power has subsided. Orpheus regained its original form. You have obtained a new persona. Story of the game, okay. Is it over? I don't think it is. I've only played a little bit of Persona 1 and then an hour of Persona 3 FES here so far. But I don't believe it is. Optic Jack will be able to say for sure. He's played a few of them at least. What skills do we have? Bash. Deals light strike damage to one foe. Regular attack. Well, I guess just regular attack then. Cowardly Maya. I wonder if positions will be like a thing. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like we can actually move around, so just classic turn-based shit with a twist because, yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to click wait. That was dumb. I meant to click skill. Oh, we summoned the Persona to do the bash. Okay. Something about fucking shooting yourself in the head to unleash your power, though? Seems like not great. I see why the game's marked as mature. <laughs> Before, like, any of the the romancing shit or dark storyline or any of that, just the fact that, like, hey, shooting yourself in the head makes you stronger. <laughs> yeah, I think it got its uh, <laughs> mature rating, man. Down pat. Surge of energy inside. Okay, so we have three things. Academics, charm, and courage. Then we have Persona level, HP, SP. I'm assuming SP is how we use like our special abilities. Able to create personas up to level two, create personas, okay. Something inside of you has changed. Orpheus is leveled up. Magic increased by one. Okay, so the personas have strength, magic, endurance, agility, luck, that looks like. And then you have your elements. I don't know what the other things stand for. The first three. Uh, that's just increased by one. Your endurance is increased by one. Agility has increased by one. Nice. Should have gotten E for everyone? Yeah, for sure. Got your bonus statement today. We'll be buying a new PC soon. Hell yeah, man. Nice. If you just learned Agile. We'll find out what that is soon. If you need any help with the PC, let me know. Although, I know you're pretty decent <gasps> with stuff. <laughs> but if you do, I'm more than happy to help out. Are you okay? Oh, come on. I just shot myself in the head twice. I don't know if I'm okay. Say something. <laughs> Drama for the whole family. Right? <laughs> That's my favorite. Can you hear me? Please, answer me.
Which Persona games have you not played, Optiject? I know you've done like three, four, and five, it's but so nice have you played one and two? You, again. you became unconscious after awakening to your power. It's nothing to worry about, though. So just relax. By the way, I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Uh, my psyche? Question mark? It may take some time to fully comprehend. They like 10 minutes and one. I haven't played either of the second ones, though. Did they remake any of those ones? Because I have Persona 1 and both of the twos. So I'm tempted to play those ones first before I jump into 3, 4, etc. But, like, I would rather play the remakes if they ever remade them. A Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. This place, Chocobo, since you're just getting here, by the way, is called the Velvet Room. Do with that what you, you will, can but... You think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. That being said, your power is still weak. Fuck you, you're weak. What do you mean, weak? <laughs> yeah. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Okay. Yeah, now social then, links make persona stronger. Gotcha. Now consider the murdery BDSM room. Time marches on in your... <laughs> Fucked. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. One and one of the twos came out for the PSP with better localization, but no actual remix. So gameplay is the same, <clears throat> just better localized. So I can't remember if I have the PS1 copies, but like just digitally, or if I have like the PSP remakes. I'm not sure. I'd have to get on my PSP and actually check Next wherever it's at. <laughs> you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Is everything else is murdery, so why not? Yeah. Why you fucked exactly, Chocobo? <laughs> because it's the BDSM murder room? <laughs> or, like... <laughs> because these games are 100 hours fucking long each. <laughs> Asleep, you feel someone's presence beside you. Probably Yukari isn't. It, it, be whatever. Oh, social links, yeah. Yeah, these games are weird. I don't know how much you know about the Persona games. It seems like the sort of games you would know about. But, um, assuming you don't, it's weird. Because, like, they have the whole, like, you live a normal life going to school, ha building relationships with people and shit. But then you shoot yourself in the head and fight <laughs> demons from another plane of existence or whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> Had some sketch 90s Japanese Western localization that need a fix, but don't think they change much. I know they are You're the awake. one piece of video game, so I stayed away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Um, how do you feel? Uh, why are you... Just why am... Why are you here? Thank goodness you finally came too. How much sleep do you need? It's been a whole week. Say, I'm fucking tired, bro. I was so worried about you. You saved my life, you know? So I couldn't just leave you here. You got a thing for us. It's I I get the it. The doctor couldn't find I got anything a thing wrong for me with too. you. He said you were just exhausted. But you kept sleeping and sleeping. You know how worried I was? Straight up though, dude, if you put me in a comfy bed and just let me be, I could probably sleep for a fucking week too. I feel it. Um it's like the Sims v Final Fantasy v Pokemon <laughs> with the weirdness of Kingdom Hearts Metal Gear Solid all in one. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Oh my god. Even though I was supposed to protect you, I... But your power... It was amazing. What'd I do? Oh, <laughs> uh, well no. What were those things, I guess? I know what I did. I didn't forget. I know I'm shadows? cool as shit. 
Yeah, the shadows. What are They're they? They're what we're fighting against. And the power you used, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. Why are you telling me that now? That sounds mean. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little. Mm, okay. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. Is that what unlocks the whole persona thing? Trauma? Is that is that what you need? Like, which makes the whole shooting yourself in the head to unlock power even more fucked up. I assume that... Oh, that gets to a dark place quick, dude. <laughs> like... You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Bro, why are you bringing up my trauma? Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. Well, I think that's what happens. <laughs> that's kind of the point I was getting to. Like, the trauma gives you the ability or whatever, maybe. I don't know. But, like, that's what it sounds like. But then you try to off yourself one day, and instead of fucking offing yourself, you summon a demon from <laughs> hell <laughs> to, <laughs> to fucking chill with you. But <laughs> it's kind of fucked. <laughs> Oh, okay. This is her trauma, not our trauma. Okay, you can trauma dump. He That's fine. He was working dude. in a lab run by the Kirijo Group. Mhm. Mm so I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. Summer gods, thank you very much. That's why My I'm bad. going My to bad. Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. I believe, Optijack, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Persona 3, 4, or 5, right? Any of those three would be a good starting point. Yeah, that's what I thought. So 3, 4, and 5, right? I know 1's 2D. Well, it's like 2D-esque. It's, uh, think like old school dungeon crawlers. I mean, that's what, because Shin Megami Tensei, which is Persona is just a spinoff of, that's literally what they are. They're dungeon crawlers. Um, and so, like, 1 and 2 were more dungeon crawl-esque. They were more similar to Shin Megami Tensei. Um, and then after 3, they kind of split off a little bit more. It's kind of my limited understanding of it. But, yeah. Should I... I... I was scared, too. I feel like I should empathize with her, you know? Instead of just telling her it's not her fault. Really? But still, here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Oh, so you'll literally sit here for a week staring at me while I sleep, but as soon as I wake up, my company's not good enough anymore? Take it easy, okay? It's chill. Be I get it. patient. And don't hesitate to call the nurse. I'm sure she'll she take good care of you. Sorry. Something about Bye. nurses, man. <laughs> Can't help myself. So the nurse be equal, bro. That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> That'd be fucking great. Igor just walks in in a fucking nurse outfit, bro. His giant ass nose. He's wearing a mask though over that giant ass nose, but it's literally just like, you know, sticking this far from his face, not covering shit. Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm kind of fucked in the head at the moment, actually. Yeah, I'm chill. That's good. Hey, sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning, but it's Ikutsuki san wants to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school, okay? Don't forget. You got it, B. 
I'm gonna totally forget, but sure. Oh, it's this fucking guy. Mr. Ono, that's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants, and that wraps it up for the Stone Age. Ugh, man, I'm tired of lessons about stones. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history, or, J yeah, Japanese history is not that exciting until then. Though I'm paid to do this, so I've got a... It's tough being an adult. Next is the Jomon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? Let's ask a question at random call today. Hmm, hey, Junpai. Pay, Junpei! It's fucking Junpei! <laughs> fucking pie, dude. What was the style of house in the Jumon period called? Jumon. Uh, how am I supposed to know about something way back then? Wait, Joseph, what the heck is he talking about? I mean, would they have been mud huts? I don't fucking know. Three's my least favorite of the 3D bunch, although you still like it a lot. Four is your favorite, learn from the mistakes in three. As a rural setting compared to the cities of the others. A little more lighthearted, at least off the rip. Five is a close second, but it can be a little overwhelming with content. Spent like 150 hours in it just to be the main story and you were rushing towards the end. It's free, so it's the only one I have. Strikers? I can't remember what Strikers is. Object? That one's you. Uh, elevated out. No, mud huts. If he's talking about fucking... I don't know, like, what period that is, but if he just talked about mammoths, and then he's going on to, like, the next period, it would have to be either, like, caves or mud huts, right? That's correct. Mud huts were built by digging a hole in the ground and supporting the roof. It's no use. I can't get interested. Uh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. I answered right, and I don't get any credit? Oh, well. Thanks, Joseph. Your classmate's whispering. Joseph told you by the answer. He's really smart. You became slightly more popular. Arm has increased. Ah, oh, Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, that's what it is. Every popular Japanese series has to have spin-off games, man. Especially the dance and rhythm games. <laughs> You'll be discussing something important at the dorms. You decide to go home early. At some point, you actually get to, like, explore all this shit, right, my guy? Like, not just the dorm and the school. Shopping mall is filled with people coming and going. <laughs> Stick with my MGS Pachinko. Where I guarantee you there's some Persona Pachinko out there. No one in the lounge, you're told to go to the floor. Or can we just go to bed instead? Get where the stairs are. Okay, yeah, they're back here. Yes, you do get to explore, okay. Thought so. Remake characters actually based off the dance games because it was their only appearance in the HD era. Kinda makes sense, but why not just remake them in HD? Ah, oh, there you are. Here I am. It's true. Is me, I'm here. Ah, there you are. They were just like that high quality, I guess. I'm glad that you're okay. What's the best video game villain in your opinion, and why? The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Please. Curious what everybody seat. thinks about some villains, man. Obviously, it's fucking. Oh, before that. I can't even remember his fucking name, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say, jokingly, the leader of Team Rocket and the original Pokemon games, Giovanni. <laughs> Fucking remember his name, dude. Oh, uh, just because I've been playing earlier, Pokemon lately. But this yeah, is the first like big villain to come to mind. How you doing? Okay, let me start off by asking you this: Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? Yes, because I've been seeing it. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The other dads in shower with dad simulator 2015. All right, but we need reason why, man. That's part of the question. Because their dicks are out. <laughs> Fair. Fair enough, man. Hey, it's all about opinions here. I can't tell you you're wrong. 
Um, the Titan. And fucking God of War, because, bro, I did not expect that. <laughs> no, I uh, actually don't know. I'm so bad at just thinking of things like this, you know? Metal Gear Solid has some really good villains, and honestly, like, I know we bring up Metal Gear Solid a lot, but while they're not my personal favorite games, they're really fucking good games. The writing in them is so fucking good that they end up being at the top of a lot of lists. And, uh, Big Boss? Was that her name? Whatever the fuck her name is from MGS3. Like, that's probably the best <laughs> villain, honestly. And, like... It play the game. That's why. <laughs> like, I don't want to spoil anything, but she's fucking crazy, dude. They just updated and added co-op. Wait, and shower with your dad simulator? You want to play it one of these days? <laughs> the street lights went out. Nothing was working. There were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. Oh, pop. Nice. Hidden? I guess it's more like something people aren't aware of. But the dark hour does exist. It occurs each night at midnight. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. You guys don't study, like, why it happens, though? That seems more important to me than, like, just the fact that it does. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. <laughs> but that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. All face from five? I haven't played five yet. I'm still willing to hear your reason why, though. But I kind of figured it'd be from a Metal Gear Solid game. Said even, even though it's not my personal favorite, I really like the games, but like, Again, the, the the characters in Metal Gear Solid are so fucking either just so out there or just so well written, you know, just either completely fucking mental or very heartfelt, <laughs> you know, sometimes both. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for the Metal Gear games. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are Pazzo. you always like that? But sure, I agree. Justice for Paz. You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short. We're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. And how do you fight them? Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Obviously. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. Again, kind of seems obvious. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users, which means it's all up to you guys. I see. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. 
We'd like you to lend us your strength. Is the evoker the guns that they all carry around? Uh, I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. I coughed. Ah, okay. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh. Mysterious voice rings in your head. I gotta say, it's not late enough for the secret hour, the, the dark hour. Thou shalt have our blessing when they, thou choosest to create a persona of the full arcana. We have established a new social link. How fancy? What? You feel your inner strength growing. You recall what Igor said about the power of social links. Bro, we're not even going to ask them about it. Like, hey, do you guys also get random voices in your head? Are you going to tell us who you are now? Random boy that... Like he's wearing a prisoner's outfit? <laughs> and you are? We've met before. Well, no shit, dumbass. I want to know who you are. Soon, the end will come. A little ominous, my I guy. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. The end? The end of everything. Oh, good. Yeah, I thought that's probably what you... Thank you for not clarifying but to be anything. Honest, I don't really know what it is. Me neither. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. Weren't you there whenever we fucking woke up the persona? Didn't he whisper to us to do it? A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. I haven't watched Donnie Darko in so long. Do you remember? Did anybody here watch the met? sequel to Donnie Darko? Weird I ass movie. I expect you to honor your commitment. Did we sign a contract like to help this kid bring about the end of the world? I'll be watching you. Even if you forget about me. Is that what the okay, Velvet then. Room actually is? See you later. Well, yeah, they're definitely both weird, but the second one's... I don't know, I feel like it's weirder. It's nothing you need to, like, rush out and watch. It's okay. Not as good as the first one. Honestly, I think the first one gets a little bit too much credit sometimes, too. Like, it's a fine movie, but I don't think it's, like, the world's greatest movie. Like, some people act, but, you know, teach their own. It's like someone is calling your hey, name from it's downstairs. Me. Can you come down here? Nope. Staying in my room. I'm done with all this okay. shit. He's here now, so what's this all about? There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. J Junpei? Why is he here? Wait, don't tell me. This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me. I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? Kind of rude, Gary. He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. 
He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Didn't happen to me. <laughs> Big deal. It happens to everyone else. Uh. But man, I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could... I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having... Uh, yeah. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Oh, we're gonna go do something? Sweetness! With this many people, we can start exploring that place. That place? You mean Tartarus? Fuck is Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. We believe we can find the reason for the dark hour there. I hope so. The chairman will give us the details tomorrow night, so be ready. Hour and a half in, game hasn't really even started yet. I like it. <laughs> Which one, Akihiko or Junpei? The new kid or the cocky one? Good morning, I'm always so drowsy on Monday mornings. Yeah, me too. The only thing you can do is to sleep through first period. Wait, tomorrow's when we have morning assembly. Uh, I'm too lazy for that. I'll just pretend I didn't hear. Bell has rung. Let's go. <laughs> Blaze it. Yeah, I thought he was going to be a dick when I first met him, honestly. He seems like he's actually chill, but he's probably my least <sighs> favorite character so far. There. Least favorite main character. The teacher that's obsessed with Sam Rise. <laughs> probably my least favorite character. <laughs> Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. Oh, are we having that talk? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Wow, she didn't waste any time leaving. She's probably busy with things like student council, unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... A bit much? He seems like a bit much. Or to come back early, decide to go home early with Junpei. Wow, duck bird. Fuck yeah, dude. Walked home with Junpei, talking and laughing at each other's inappropriate jokes. Bro, I feel like half of this game is padding. Just <laughs> giving us scenes like that of us just walking up. I know they're trying to build the whole you're a teenager with a life sort okay. of thing. Everybody's but here. That has to waste a significant amount of time over the course of the game. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time. Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Sorry, I asked this yesterday, but what's this Tartarus thing again? You haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? Huh? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa. Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, 
What about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Fair. Well, I'm sure he won't complain, as long as you don't go too far in. Here's Since we're dungeon. dealing with shadows, Tartarus isn't something we can avoid. On our first visit, I'm like, <laughs> get fucked, dude. Relax, I've got your backs. That does not make me feel any better. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. So not everybody that stays awake during the dark hour has the ability to do the persona thing then. Only some of them. Good to know. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. What, the school just turns creepy at night? <laughs> Fair. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. L labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. What happens if you're like in that place, man? <laughs> when it goes all fucky like that. This is the nest you were talking about? Or vice versa, I guess. Still in there whenever the dark hour finishes. But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Who cares, anyway? It's not like it would change our minds about fighting. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know, you don't have to remind me. I'm assuming since they called it like a labyrinth and shit, this is where the uh, dungeon crawler aspect of the game comes into play. Wait, why is there a motorcycle in here? Is that like fast travel or something? Whoa, it's just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. Wait, have they explored it before? Like, they know it's a labyrinth and everything. The way they were talking, though, it sounded like they've never been in it. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. So you two didn't plan on coming in the first place? That's right. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? 
Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me. No. Uh, you're in charge. Wait, 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 why him? He doesn't look like a leader. But he has fought them before. I do like his voice actor, though. I don't really care for the character. I feel like he does a pretty good job with his Seriously? lines. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like he can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. A strange door. Ah, that's how we get to the velvet room. Okay. Wait, do the other ones know about this, or is this something unique to us? Hi, hey, Igor. I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. I feel like you know though, my guys. Why don't you just fucking tell us? That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. I don't want to know. <laughs> Fuck it, we're not keeping this safe anyways. I don't want to know. Please, you must understand. It is of the utmost importance. Besides, this shall be the last time I beckon you here. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty. But at the same time, holds infinite possibilities. You, my boy are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until then, farewell. Wait, do normal people only get like one persona? So does that mean for our party members, they'll all be stuck with just whatever they have? Presumably it'll get stronger as time goes on, but just whatever they have. Whereas we can switch ours out. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, no you shit. Look like okay. a zombie. I open this door and they can't see the door. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Man, are you loco? Don't seem to see the door. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. I mean, I do need a nap. Is the fucking monster mash starting? <laughs> Probably, dude. <laughs> dude, oh, you're supposed shit. to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Come on, let's go. Actually, I actually have control of my character yet because I'm curious about some other stuff. Like, what's that motorcycle for? And that clock that was in the background. Check your own stats by pressing the triangle button. You can save your progress by assessing. Oh, okay. Well, that's save game. Uh, I mean, it's a little late now, but I did want to for like the whole game. Fucking go into config here and turn on auto advance. You <laughs> important term. Okay. And spells. Neat. Fair bit of them to unlock too, it looks like. We have quests. I mean, we don't have any, but. Oh, and they do have deadlines. That's cool. I like that. Calendar. Are there like special days of the year? Are they just like regular, oh, this is our exam week? Oof. 
Constitution Day, Greenery Day, Children's Day. How far does it go? Can we go to like next year? Oh, up until our graduation, it looks like. Okay. Bullshit. You can get your shower? Enjoy, love. Okay. I don't think we need to fuck with any of that. I do definitely want to get in here before we quit. It is about time to end it, but... Am I not touching that? I use it to transport delicate equipment necessary for gathering information. Oh, okay. Five bits! Thank you, love. I do appreciate that. Some kind of device you've never seen before. It doesn't seem to be functioning. Fair enough. Let's just get in this fucking place. We can always fuck with all this stuff whenever we actually play the game. Play the game for real. Are you ready? Yee! Let's go, dude. Yo, HF. Carter's block one. <laughs> Noodle's gonna love it. So, this is it, huh? <laughs> Rude. I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Nope. Whoa, is that... Okay, we can... Whenever we actually play the game, we can listen to all this shit. I just want to, like, get into a couple fights. I want to see what it's like with the with the actual group. She always, I don't care. <laughs> If I was actually playing the game, playing the game, I wouldn't do it, but time's running up very quickly. And we fought one fucking time. Okay, so this is the dungeon crawling aspect. This is what, like, the majority of the last game, just moving around and everything is kind of like this. But from a first-person perspective, if I remember correctly... Oh shit, we bought a drink. We bought a couple drinks. Do they do anything? The most caffeinated drink available. What's it do? I'm assuming it fills like our stamina and health or something. I detect a shadow, move in and hit it before it attacks you. Press X to use your weapon. You get from the upper hand to them before they hit you. That makes sense. Classic RPG shit. Talk about would you like? Uh no thanks. Okay. Eight. Active. Really actively support. Oh. oh. Wait, do we not control them directly? Interesting. I don't know what Rush does, but I clicked it, so. Oh, okay. A complete victory. Great. I'm assuming brush just means like it uses basic attacks over and over again for you. Like just a quick way to get through easy encounters. How do you see it? Only way to proceed. Uh, okay. Uh, try to surprise. Yeah, okay. I don't know who got the first hit actually, but it's fun. Now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties. Do you want to know? Uh, no, I'm good. The enemies you're facing have a weakness. I don't know what their weakness is, but I don't care. Light fire. Maybe it's fire. <laughs> Yep. You okay. the enemy's weak point. Wait, why do I get second turn? has defeated an enemy. Just one more. Okay. It's gonna be a little weird how like they just control themselves. I wonder how much changing their their uh, whatever actually affects that. Apple fruit. Wait, use was you okay, whatever. Wait, can we actually like? Oh, okay. Oh, we got hit that time. 
was wondering if we could like actually sneak up on him. It doesn't seem like it. If you didn't already notice, would you like more? Nope, I'm good. How much SP do we have? A lot. You attack the enemy point. So if we do that again, do we just continue to get turns? Because that seems kind of broken. Okay, no. We only get one extra turn from exploitation. Take it easy, my guy. Thank you for stopping out, man. Enough stole? Stole? But it restores now his SP. Okay. What are the different tactics? Analyze request held. You'll support a sign target or standby. Act freely, I guess. You have the same thing, okay. Well, I guess I do want to know, like, a sign target? Oh, okay, so we can just tell them, like, to focus on one or whatever. I would hope their AI would be pretty decent. In, like, attacking whichever one we weaken or whatever. Or using their, their, like, elemental shit. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, this is new. Mysterious cards have appeared in your mind. You wonder if this is what Igor was talking about. After a battle, you will occasionally have the opportunity to select a card from the one shuffled before your eyes. If you pick a card with a persona on it, then you will receive that persona. There are other cards, each of which has a unique effect or reward. Keep an eye on the card you want and try to pick it. Okay, so we probably want the fairy thing then, right? You've chosen the card with the persona Pixie. So welcome Pixie into your heart. This is pair felt a surge of energy, your hit points and spirit, blah, 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 blah. You've leveled up. And now we have to get into another fight, though. I don't know if it's yes, possible, but... No one gives a shit, lady. But I want to I wanna use the Pixie! Do I switch them, or can I just, like, switch them at will in the middle of battle? A sign? Yes. Is there a way to see which one I have a sign? Ah, right there. Okay. You can only use one persona at a time. Shadow, how are you feeling? We're fine. Yeah, no, we're good. I'm not sure who hit who. It's fine. There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies. You can perform an all-out all out attack. attack. Yeah, no, I don't want to hear about Next. it. But shadows become strong. There may be time. This don't attack this item skill. Wait, how do we do the all-out attack though? Oh, is that our turn thing? That's pretty cool. Oh wait, the square just auto waits? Well, fuck me, dude. I might die. <laughs> Bro, we might all die. <laughs> it's fine. Why doesn't she summon her persona at all? Oh. That's just an HP restore? Okay, Pixie kind of sucks for us right now. Um... Nice miss, you dick. Ah, she also has a healing persona. Makes sense. She seems like a good one. Oh, we can change our persona, like... Does that take up our turn? It doesn't. Ooh, okay. That one's down with him. Let's leave that one. Try to kill this one over here. A wisely chosen attack. Nice. Fuck it. Just keep using it, man. There are two 
who left. This is not good. Two to go. I couldn't defeat it. Honestly, not that great. I think we got this. <laughs> Ooh. A crit though? Wait, every time it crits, it gets another attack? Only one more. One more. Wait, why am I not getting a turn, dude? That was weird. Keep up the good work. Shuffle time. Wait, so what happens if we get Pixie twice? Persona Pixie, you already have this persona, the card van. Okay. So you don't want to grab the same persona twice. Good to know. Yes! My skill level has Sweet. She said to talk to her? Oh, huh, what's wrong? Um, request healing. I wonder if that's something we can always do, or if it's just like this one time because of the whole tutorial dungeon. Uh, but we can tell people what to do by issuing commands. I didn't want to split up. That's why. Okay, whatever. Um, split up. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Why are you telling them that? Sweet, I found something. This. Oh, that's the accent split. Okay, hold on. What did he find? Wait, where's he going? I thought he found something. Did he like, maybe he automatically collected whatever the hell he found. Well, I don't think there's anything else on here. Is there a way to like, be the whole map? X. Collect? Start. No, doesn't seem like it. Okay, well. I guess we should just leave. Access point. Four. Oh, okay, and then they just turn it in whenever we regroup. That makes sense. Well, guys, honestly, I like it. It's just a bit slow, at least at the beginning, though I imagine it'll probably pick up a little bit around now. <laughs> so it kind of sucks for the, the looking at Welcome it, but back. it is going to go on the list of games to complete. So, how was I'm going to look again at my copy of like persona one and two and whatnot and decide if that's something we want to play on stream or if i just want to do it my own time to be determined i guess but uh that's gonna be it for me tonight guys it is late i need to get ready for shit so have a good night guys thank you again for coming out and uh yeah kind to each other y'all bye Huh. Weird, okay. I don't want any spoilers, I'm a little confused on-